In today's bizarro world, in today's clown world, Americans aren't fighting for individual rights and liberty. Americans are fighting for government censorship, government colluding with big tech on censorship. And the latest argument from the left is if you allow free speech, you give a platform to child predators. Take it away, Bill. Of course, we should ban kitty porn and libel and personal threats and calls for insurrection. That's a no-brainer because they're already illegal. <laughs> Just as it would be illegal in an actual town square to whip out your dick. <laughs> So we already have laws in place against certain behavior, like threatening people and other things. Those laws have been in place before social media was a thing. Before the internet, we had these, these laws against certain speech. That has always, always existed. So that argument is not honest. And also it's a red herring because the argument against censorship gets into what we've seen censored. And Bill will give you a couple examples here. Argument to me is like, has Twitter failed in setting themselves up in the past as the judge of what can go out there? And I would say, yes, <clears throat> you have. You failed when you threw the New York Post off of Twitter for talking about Hunter Biden's emails. And it turned out that was a real story. Right. You failed when you said we couldn't read about whether COVID had come from a lab you failed. And of course, there are so many other examples. Arguing against the vaccine mandate for people that already had COVID. Arguing against the vaccine mandate, especially for young people that already had COVID or even haven't had COVID because we know what the statistics were for young people. Uh, the Hunter Biden laptop is huge because that was election interference when they buried that story that could have swayed the election and it should absolutely be uh debatable when he talked about the virus coming from the lab absolutely and it should also be debatable if changes made to the 2020 election changes made to state election rules with COVID used in its excuse because things such as mass mail-in balloting uh based on out-of-date registries, uh, whether or not that affected the outcome of the election, that is a legitimate debate. So there has been censorship on legitimate issues. Uh, or here's another one, defending Kyle Rittenhouse. You weren't allowed to do that. That was censored. This is insane. Individual rights and liberty, freedom of speech, may the best argument win. So this argument that, oh, if you allow free speech, you're going to give a platform to child predators, that's a lie. It's dishonest. And they can't win the argument when you look at the things that actually were censored and shouldn't. And rather than being honest about it, they're being dishonest and, and throwing up crap that has nothing to do with anything. Not all speech is legal. It's not legal for me to physically threaten somebody. And that's the way it has been before the internet. So that is bull crap. And since we do already have legal restrictions in place about speech, social media companies obey the law, obey the laws on speech that are already there. And that's all you have to do. And then make your platform, an open communication platform, which is what it was before five years ago when these social media companies started, like Twitter and Facebook, they didn't start with all this censorship. That's something recent and somehow we were able to survive when these were actually open platforms. So let's get them back to open platforms because this is the public square. The First Amendment doesn't mean anything if you don't have free speech and social media, which is today's public square. Anyway, uh, thank you to Bill Maher for being such a great champion of free speech and individual rights and liberty and being consistent 
not backing down like a lot of cowards who are for something and then they get pressured and they change their mind. Uh, you don't see that with Bill Maher. He's been very consistent with this for, for decades and will continue to be. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>